Hello and welcome to Nikolai's Genetics Lessons and today's problem is a man with hemophilia, a recessive sex link condition, has a daughter of normal phenotype, she marries a man who is normal for the trait, what is the probability that the daughter of this mating will be a homophiliac, a son, if the couple has four sons, what is the probability that all four will be born with hemophilia. So how we are going to solve this problem? We told that man uh, has hemophilia, so uh, let's use red color to designate defective X chromosome. Of course, not the whole chromosome would be defective, only one allele on that chromosome, but for our convenience, uh, let's use red color for this particular defective X chromosome, and for um, normal X chromosome, we are going to use green color, but man's genotype would be X and Y. So let's put X and Y and this is going to be affected male genotype and he marries normal, phenotypically normal female. So this is going to be female genotype here on the side. And now let's take a look what we can expect in their progeny. We can expect that defective X chromosome would go here and here. And normal X chromosome would come here, here, normal Y chromosome here, normal X chromosome from the mother side here, here, and Y chromosome from the father here. As you see, according to the Spanish square, 100% of the male progeny uh, that is going to be result of this mating would be phenotypically and genotypically normal. And 100% of the females also would be phenotypically normal, but would be carriers of this uh, defective allele on one of the chromosomes. But because this is X-link recessive genetic disorder, phenotype would be normal because on the other chromosome they would have normal dominant allele. So now when we know that daughter have to be obligate uh, heterozygous for this genetic disorder or obligate carrier, uh, let's take a look what would happen in the next marriage. So we take genotype of the female as uh, defective X chromosome and normal X chromosome. So phenotypically she is going to be normal phenotype. She marries a man with normal phenotype and that means normal genotype. And let's take a look what would happen in this marriage. And according to Punnett square this is what we are going to see. Defective X chromosome inherited from the mother side here. Defective X chromosome inherited from the mother side here. Normal X chromosome inherited from the father side. Normal Y chromosome inherited from the father side. Two normal X chromosomes from both of the parents. X and Y chromosome both normal here. Once again, 100% of the female progeny going to be phenotypically normal. Those 50% of the females going to be carriers. But as for the males, 50% of the male progeny going to be affected and 50% of the male progeny going to be phenotypically and genotypically normal. And here we see affected phenotype because males only have one X chromosome and Y chromosome is not homologous chromosome to X chromosome. So compare the sizes. For example, this is size of the X chromosome and this is the size of the Y chromosome. So X chromosome about 10 times bigger than Y chromosome. Those both chromosomes has homologous regions on the tips of the, uh, of the chromosomes. So they can line up during meiosis, but still as you see, uh, X chromosome has uh, 10 times more uh, genes than Y chromosome. So about 2000 genes here and uh, less than 200 genes here. And if X chromosome would have somewhere here defective gene, as you see, uh, Y chromosome just doesn't have a homologous region with uh, uh, another allele on it. So uh, males are said to be hemizygous because have only one uh, X chromosome and any recessive genetic disorder in males 
that is uh, X-link would manifest itself as dominant genetic disorder. So now we uh, can move to the final part of our calculations. Uh, if a couple has four sons, what is the probability that all four will be born with hemophilia? And this is probably the trickiest part of all. Uh, some people may say that, okay, calculations would be as follows. Probability that um, first child would be a boy would be one half, and we have to multiply by probability that uh, he is going to be uh, hemophiliac, that is going to be also one half, and we have to multiply by the probability that the second child also would be a boy and with this genetic disorder and third and fourth. So this is one variant of um, thinking. The other variant would be uh, simpler. Basically uh, we just have to multiply probability that the first boy would be homophiliac so and probability would be one half and second boy would be also hemophiliac also would be one half and third and fourth. So what do you think which uh, way of calculations would be the correct one? This one I would say this is first variant and this is second variant. You have few seconds uh, you may put your answer in the comment box what uh, do you think and I then will tell you the logic of uh, calculation. So um, basically uh, if the question would be if the couple has four children then this is how we are going to solve this uh, problem. We have to um, find probability for the first child to be a boy. So child number one, child number two, child number and child number four. So first we have to find probability for the first child to be a boy, then probability for him to be a hemophiliac, and then we have to multiply by the probability that second child also would be boy and would have this genetic disorder and so on. If the sex wouldn't be specified we are going to use this type of a calculation. If sex is specified here, if couple has, that means that already has four sons. It's just imagine that uh, you are a genetist and uh, someone comes to consultation and asking you question that I already have four sons, what is the probability for them to be, uh, all of them to be hemophiliac? And this is going to be your calculations and this is going to be our calculations today and probability of such an event would be one half multiplied by one half would be one quarter multiplied by one half would be one eighth and multiplied by one half would be one sixteenth and this is going to be our answer today once again I just want to uh, review if uh, sex is wouldn't be specified uh, what is the probability that couple would have four children and all of them would be affected then we have to do this type of calculations but if the question if the couple has four sons then this is going to be this type of calculation thank you for your attention please subscribe for my new videos that i post almost every day thumbs up if you like this video please write your comments questions if you have any share this video with your classmates and see you in the next video goodbye